look another ASMR video makes me relax. Hi there. This is Mavis Whispers ASMR. And today I will be sharing with you the contents of this box, Disney's Hocus Pocus The Game. Before I get into it, I want to give a shout out to my sister who purchased this game for our family to play. Thank you. So, we played this game, some of us, for the first time last night, and it was a lot of fun. I'm excited to play it again. This is a cooperative game, so everybody wins or everybody loses. We lost, but it was still a lot of fun. It is a very simple game to play and follow, but not an easy game to necessarily win. Although the more you play, the better you can get at strategizing and reading other people because even though you're cooperating, the witches make it so you can't necessarily always work together. So first of all, the box is super cute. It is a book, cobwebs, and fun little spooky things going on. And it features all three of the Sanderson sisters, Mary, Sarah, Winifred, and it also, also features Binks the cat. Much like a book, I also like the way it sounds. The Sanderson witches you must outwit, or with a wretched, evil potion, a foul spell they'll set in motion, stun the witches and ruin the brew before the sun can rise anew. Under the light of a full moon on All Hallows' Eve, you and your friends sneak into the old Sanderson house. On a dare, you light the black flame candle. Surely the old stories are just a bunch of hocus pocus. Before you know it, 
The Sanderson sisters have come back from the dead, ready to brew their terrible potion and suck the lives out of all the children of Salem. It's up to you to ruin the witch's potion and put an end to their terrible deeds forever. board. It shows each Sanderson sister how to stun them and the state of the sunrise. As you play the game, the goal is to stun the witches and to help the sunrise quickly so that you may defeat the witches before they can finish their potion. Now this is a cooperative game, so all the players either win together or lose together. When we played this last night, we lost together. So again, simple game to play, not so easy to win. So you mark the status of the witches and the sun with two tokens. This is the stun token and when it is played and a witch is stunned, it get, gets placed over whichever witch is stunned meaning that that witch cannot cast spells for that round of the game. And to get from the beginning of the game to the end, you have to be able to move the sun up to sunrise. If you can do that before the cards run out, then your team, all the players, win. If you can't, then the witches win, and all the children of Salem are doomed. So these are the cards that are used to play the game. There are two kinds of cards in the pack. Spell cards, which the witches use against you, and potion cards, which contain the ingredients. The cards, the potion cards, are played on this board, which represents the witch's cauldron. All of the ingredients are marked here that you need to play. So before we take a look at the witch's brew cards, let's take a look at the spells. Some of these spell cards include a calming circle spell, an I smell children spell, a dance until you die spell, a come little children spell, a run amuck spell, a green lightning spell, and a take flight spell. But you are not defenseless. Your team has four trick tokens, which can be played to help stop or change the witch's spells. These can be played once per game. Circle of Salt. Burning Rain of Death. Daylight 
Savings and a Billy Butcherson. Binks the cat can also help with the goal of stopping the sisters because he helps you communicate with other members of the team. game is played by each player having a hand of ingredients dealt to them and playing one card per turn. Each of these cards has one of these ingredients on it. Thine own tongue. Newt saliva. Dead man's toe. Oil of boil. And a dash of pox. There are six colors in the game. And you much like Uno, can play a card on top of a matching card or on top of a matching color. These colors are blue, purple, Red, yellow, and green. One, two, three, four, five. I'm sorry, five colors. I had an extra oil of boil in my hand when I counted. This Oil of Boil card has a spell attached to it, so if you play it, the Sanderson sisters can cast a spell. I hope you enjoyed this video and all of the fun Hocus Pocus references that this game provides us with at this spooky time of year. Thank you for watching. Happy Halloween.